welcome to this amazing property here in the exclusive neighborhood of Craig Ranch in McKinney, Texas. This property is absolutely beautiful. You can see it is a Tudor transitional new construction oh, around 2018, but I can't wait to show you inside. But this home is brought to you by the Living in Dallas, Texas team. My name is Levi Lassick, along with my partner, Travis Plum. And also this video today is sponsored by Ashton Commercial Construction. So if you have any commercial construction needs, feel free to reach out. We'll have their information in the description below as well. But you can see right behind me, beautiful, as I mentioned, Tudor transitional, I love it with the white painted brick, the black windows. I mean, this home is absolutely amazing. As soon as you pull up, it's a showpiece for sure. As you come in, you see you've got this amazing entryway with the gas lanterns on both sides. This is one of my favorites, loving that New Orleans history, culture. You think about the old New English ways. This is very uh, traditional with the older style, like a Tudor property. But I tell you what, this home has absolutely everything you need. And I can't wait to show you around. Stick around till the end because there is the outdoor is amazing. The sport court is amazing. I mean, four car, everything in here, you're gonna absolutely love it. Let's go check it out. All right, welcome to this amazing 7,100 square foot home. This is five bedrooms, 5.2 baths, and this is just on an acre lot. Now you'll see right behind me, as soon as you walk in, imagine when you walk into your doors and you've got a straight sight line through your backyard and this home sits on the uh, sixth hole of the TPC golf course here in Craig Ranch. Now think, when we show you that here in a little bit, it's absolutely gorgeous. But you have this amazing open concept with 10 foot doors and then as soon as you come into the entryway of the living room, you have 12 foot ceilings with exposed beams throughout here. You've got this amazing three piece coffee table. You've got the sectional couch with the chaise lounge on here so you can enjoy the nice game on your 70 inch flat screen TV right above the fireplace with limestone, the limestone fireplace here. You can see they're absolutely amazing. The chandeliers you'll notice throughout this entire home, each one a little bit different, each one adding its own unique design in one way or another. And that's what really sets this home apart as well, the attention to detail. And as we transition into this master chef's kitchen, you can see here, look at this single slab of marble stone right here in the middle. You've got seating for, uh, for four on your island way, but look at this, this is a piece in itself. Really fills up the space very nicely. You've got the lantern pendant lights right above it, which really stand out again with the gold highlights of that, which you know match the knobs on your 60 inch wide six burner wolf range stove. Of course, you have the uh, beautiful custom hood with the gold inlays as well. Love it. You've got see-through cabinetry. And again, the marble on the backsplash and the counters over here as well. I love this whole seamless look. It's just a very nice flow from living room to kitchen. Again, keeping this entire open concept. Then you have your farmhouse sink over here so you can look over the front yard uh, if, if the kids are out there playing, of course, while you're doing the dishes, keep an eye on them. But I'm, I'm telling you, they're gonna spend a lot of time in the backyard. But first, wait until you see the caterer's kitchen right back here. So you've got double entry on both sides, but you're gonna come in right through here. You've got your, uh, you know, you got your uh, little oven on top here, but uh, butcher block countertops. Again, I like the darker color in here to just give it that nice separation. You have sink, dishwasher, and, uh, you got the beer fridge, right? You got the drinks. That's where uh, you can keep everything nice and uh, nice and neat uh, out of sight so it doesn't take up all of the room in the main fridge. Nice espresso maker here and then double ovens on top of that. All built-in custom cabinetry and your windows here. Lots of natural light overlooking the sport court which we're gonna show you here in a little bit as well. And so that's where the kids are probably gonna be spending a lot of time that in the pool, uh, but you've got open sight lines, large windows, again, see-through cabinetry, which really puts all of your dishware on display, uh, really makes it nice. And again, you have the Wolf Sub-Zero side-by-side uh, -side fridge and freezer throughout here. But it, as we cross through the other set of doors from your caterer's kitchen, you can see again here, you have the nice open concept with the formal dining room right off to the side as well. So that's as soon as you walk in, you have that to your immediate right, uh, right there, which again, 
if you're having a formal dining party, you can put the kids over here at the kitchen, uh, have the adults over here. But again, I'm thinking most people are gonna be spending a lot of time on the outside. But before we go outside, you have to come over to the uh, west wing of the home right through this area. First of all, right to the right here, you've got another bar area. Now this is the movie bar area, uh, which you're about to see this amazing custom theater on the first floor, which you don't find that a lot here in the Dallas area. Most of the time the media rooms are up on the second floor, but this makes it very accessible as I take you in through here. You can see plenty of room and seating throughout with the large projector screen there and surround sound system. I mean, this is absolutely amazing. Padded well to keep the sound in and uh, not disturb if you're gonna have people out. You've got the pool bath right here. So this is direct access to your pool area, which makes it easy if you wanna come in, make a drink. Although I'm telling you, wait till you see outside, there's plenty of room and kitchen area outside to make your drinks, but you wanna keep your liquor. It does tend to warm up a little bit here in Dallas during the summer. So you wanna keep your liquor, although there's fridges out there. I mean, I'm telling you what, you just got options. That's the main thing is you've got options. You don't have to travel far. You wanna grab a drink, a soda, uh, make a cocktail, whatever it is, doesn't matter. It's not, it's gonna be within an arm's length, but here, this amazing pool bath. Let's go over to the other side now and check out the office. Now, you know, if you see, uh, if you've seen several of our videos, I'm a big fan of the home office because I do tend to work quite a bit from the home office whenever I'm not out in the field, either meeting with clients or making these videos for you. But tell me what you think about this office. I love the dark coloring, the dark gray on the walls really breaks up that transition from all of the light colors throughout the rest of the house, but you have your custom cabinetry built in uh, off to the side here with the ladder. I like that. So that makes it easy, uh, easily accessible because me personally, this would be completely full of books. So uh, that would make it very easy to get up there. You got a beautiful desk in here. I mean, all of the decorating in here is absolutely amazing. And again, you've got natural light coming in with the large windows with the flat screen on the wall as well. And when you're coming out, we will transition over into the guest room right here off to the side, which as you walk through, you're going to have these uh, amazing 10 foot ceiling. I mean, think about that in your guest room, but nice, comfy and cozy in here. This bed I love, it's absolutely amazing. You've got herringbone tile right in your ensuite bathroom right here uh, with very simple touches, but still very high end. You've got the shower head, full glass walk-in shower, nice clear glass tile on the side that really adds a nice touch and your closet here. Now let's go check out the, the next part. But I tell you what, we don't wanna keep you waiting any longer to see the outside because it's absolutely amazing. So we're gonna take you outside and then we'll go to the upstairs from there and then don't worry, we're saving the best for last with the master bedroom and bath, but let's go see the motor court and the pool area. Amazing, let's check it out. Now we're heading to the outdoor area, which here in Dallas, Texas, we absolutely love spending time outside. It's perfect, it's winter right now and it's perfect weather. Beautiful 70 degree day, but look at this. You have infrared heating lamps up above just in case. Seating area for several, I mean, you, they can be all over the place in here. You've got your flat screen up above the fireplace, which doubles uh, through on the other side as well. You have your entry to the pool bath on top of that, double-sided fireplace, and I love absolutely love soapstone, especially for countertops on the outdoor area. This is a very nice touch. All your built-in custom cabinetry as well. Another massive flat screen up against the wall here so you don't miss a minute of the game while you're out here on the barbecue cooking. You've got your fridge out here as well. Very easy. And then you'll see you have turf. Now, this is what I like. I'm not a fan of 100% turf but they have done an amazing job, which by the way, Ashton Commercial Construction, even though they focus primarily on the commercial aspect, they built this home. So they do build custom homes as well, but your price range is going to be up there a little bit. Now, this home, which I didn't mention before, is $3.8 million. So if you have any interest in purchasing this home, our information will be in the description below. Definitely reach out for that as well. And you'll see now you've got the grass, but I love the transition of turf 
on this main area, you'll see that you could say the upper deck of the backyard almost, but look at this amazing pool area. You've got the lounge chairs in the pool. Nice subtle fountains, I like that because it's not too loud, but also has some background noise to, that you can enjoy while you're sitting out here. Really creates the ambiance. But beautiful, beautiful pool. Plenty of room for everybody to enjoy right here. You got seating all around the bar area over there. You've got the hot tub with this amazing tile work, uh, which really gives it a beautiful uh, finish and look to, to transition right into the pool. It has that infinity edge style as well. Then you have dining, room for dining over here on top of that. So you have plenty of room to enjoy your meal that you've just barbecued out here. And again, now we're gonna step down to the lower deck of the backyard, which of course overlooks the six hole of the TPC course here at Craig Ranch. So that's absolutely amazing. I mean, look at that view, but you have the fire pit right out here. Imagine that overlooking the golf course out here, enjoying an evening and the sport court. I'm telling you for your kids, you have to check this out. Let's go see it. Now we come out of this side door from the caterer's kitchen right off to the back, but you have another seating area right out here uh, for the caterers, I suppose. They wanna come out here, take a break. But then you have this open area to come for your four cars. You see you've got a detached garage on one side and an attached garage on the other side with gated access. So not only is your community gated in here, but then you have uh, your backyard and the whole home is gated on top of that. As we make this transition, this is what we've been talking about. You have to see the sport court. This is where, this is where we're gonna have the fun, right? You've got the basketball court and you've got the soccer goal right here. Again, coming down on sort of a second deck or lower deck, you could say, of the art yard area here. So beautiful stone walls with plenty of tree cover and space above. So you shouldn't lose too many soccer balls or basketballs, hopefully, if you're uh, mostly a good shot, right? but otherwise that'll keep everything blocked in. But look at the home behind me. I don't, I feel a little small right now. I can almost feel the presence of this home <laughs> behind me uh, being down here on the sport court. It's absolutely gorgeous, but let's go check out the upstairs. And then again, stick around. We're gonna take you to the master bedroom and bath to top this off. Let's go. Now we're coming upstairs. You'll notice right above me is the staircase chandelier, which is just a nice additional touch, but we'll move over here into the first kid's bedroom up here, uh, which this is the little, little girl's room. And I know my partner, Travis, would absolutely love this room. Large windows overlooking the neighborhood and with the ensuite bathroom. I tell you what, I grew up, <laughs> two older brothers and my parents, we shared one bathroom. And now everybody has their own beautiful tile work. Uh, you've got the ceramic tiles in the bath bathroom area. On top of that, simple vanity with the walk-in closet off to the side. And then right outside here, you have your laundry right there. But then you'll just make a transition into the boys' rooms, which are just right across on this small catwalk as we move into the first one. Uh, this is uh, for the twins, right? And so you've got the double beds. You've got a a little bit of the vaulted ceilings in here, which adds it, gives it a nice touch and opens up this room a lot more. Then I absolutely love this bathroom because the attention to detail. I love all the old history and this is the original farm sink. This is where farm sinks came from. This is the whole concept. This is what you would see back in the uh, early 18, 1900s with the penny tile on the floor, black and white combo. And again, uh, built-in storage with the subway tile bathtub and shower, amazing. Then as you come out, you're not too far from your other brothers, right? But first, you gotta transition through the game room. Now this, on top of that, not only do you have the sport court downstairs, the pool, the outdoor kitchen, everything you need, you've got the game room on top of that. I mean, windows overlooking the golf course, the backyard, and of course, three TVs, I mean, this, keeps everyone happy, right? Everybody can be watching their own program. Now they probably got to plug in the headphones, otherwise it's going to be a mess to watch. But you'll make a smooth transition over here to the half bath. This is the game room bath right there. But then you're going to move into one of the other boys' rooms when you come through here. And you'll see again, vaulted ceilings and 
you have, again, another ensuite with custom tile work, walk-in shower, but then wait till you see this. You thought uh, working out from home was difficult? Not when you have your very own, not when you have your very own gym inside here. So we move into this other room here off to the side. You can see how uh, this used to be attic space up in here, but now transition into this home gym with padding. So there's even some room to, if you accidentally drop a weight or two, full dumbbell set, full squat rack. I mean, you've got the Peloton, you've got the benches, everything you need. I mean, th this is better than some of the hotel gyms I've been in before, but so you're not too far away to grab a protein shake or that after workout meal. But as you come out, then you have direct access to the family staircase, which is gonna take you directly down into the breakfast area which is an easy transition into the master bedroom and bath, and you're gonna love this, let's go check it out. Then you come right downstairs into the breakfast area, and look at this, you've got a fireplace in the breakfast area, again, with the limestone hearth, absolutely beautiful, and right off to the side is your mud room. This is entry point from the garage, and so that way it's very easy to come in. You've got full cabinetry there as well to uh, place all of your muddy clothes, whatever it is you're into, but then you have this smooth transition into the master bedroom and bath. It's amazing. Come check it out. And you'll notice as soon as you walk into your beautiful master bedroom, you got another amazing chandelier just right at the entryway. But look as you walk in here, you've got access to the back door or the backyard and pool area. But look at these amazing ceiling in here. It is a cathedral style ceiling with a exposed beam right down the middle and another show stopping chandelier in your master bedroom. I love the windows on both sides of the bed letting in that natural light and again a beautiful fireplace with all of the glass stones in the bottom really gives it that nice elegant touch and what better way than to have a couple of chairs in your bedroom to watch some tv if you just want to break away from everybody else but look at this master bathroom it is absolutely gorgeous you come in you've got double vanities on both sides completely separate that way you don't have to get in each other's ways you've got the garden tub right in the center with again natural lighting the custom tile work up there uh, with the marble inlay and these amazing floors here you've got a fridge built in so you can have your coffee bar on top of that then you have an amazing walk-in shower. This is a full steam shower and you have even have the transom up there above so you can open that up so it doesn't get too musty or too steamy for you with the throne room off to the side with custom uh, opening and closing lid. That's a nice touch. We move right into his closet, which as you can see, a little bit darker feel, a little bit more masculine, but wait until you see her closet. Let's, it's right over here. Now, as we move into her closet, there is a hidden piece in here that you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't notice at the beginning, but again, nice island area. This is great to put your suitcase on top of if you're planning to go on a trip. It makes it a lot easier to pack instead of trying to throw everything on, up into the floor. But this is looks like a boutique store in here to me. You've got your, your seating area for, uh, for your makeup, the vanity, but love this piece. Not only do you have the full length mirror so you can always check out what you're wearing from head to toe, wait until you see what's behind this hidden door. Now, there's not really a handle because they don't want it to be that obvious, but when you open this up, not only do you have your safe room, custom shelter as well. This is your storm shelter that will keep you completely safe just in case. Not only is it that, but you have a safe within the safe. And there you can have additional storage and have all of your money, your gold, your precious metals, maybe your armory, all of that stocked to the side so that the family, if they were to ever need to go into this shelter, they have access to that, but it's still closed off from everybody in there. Great feature, must have in the custom room. And then of course you have the laundry room right behind me. So this makes it easy to do laundry and put it away at the same time with again, access to the outdoors as you come in. You'll see plenty of room in here and nice transition right to the hallway and even to the backyard as well. So if you um, are a little wet from the pool, you could easily come in here, get everything off and uh, throw it right in the laundry. Well, I don't know about you, but I've absolutely loved walking you through this home. Again, I wanna personally thank Nick and Mike at 
Ashton Commercial Construction for sponsoring this video. And I tell you what, it's been absolutely amazing to see this beautiful custom home that they've built here. Again, my name is Levi Lassick. I'm with the Living in Dallas, Texas team. If you would like any information on the purchase of this home or building your own custom home just like this, feel free to reach out. All of our information is in the description below. And you know, until next time, well, we hope to show you around town.